going through the entire game of Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. This is Jesus is the Way Gaming. My name is Daniel. And let's do it. We're going to play through... Oh, that's actually a lie. That's not me. That's the computer. Here we go. Let's get it started. I've only played this game a thousand times, probably. One of the first games when I was a kid, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. It was actually Sonic 2 was my first Sega game that I ever owned. And so if you never played it, you can get through, you can, oh my. You can play through the entire game, you don't have to get all the Chaos Emeralds, but then you will get the very unsatisfactory message saying that there was ooh, more you could have done. And the key is getting 50 rings for each, each level. So I gotta go back and do a little back work on this one. Hey, what's up, Damien? Happy Sunday. Let's see, I think we're getting close to the end of the level, so I gotta be careful not to hit. Oh. Gotta get our 50 rings first. Damien, I'm doing good, man. I had a great day at church. We went to Denny's after. Oh, that thing always gets me. Ooh. What about you, man? How's your day? Oh, no! Oh, that hurt. No, that little bee. All right, let's go back. See what? No, there's no more rings I can really get from here. Spent most of the day on my phone, lol. Doing what? Just like YouTube. Thank you for the share. I believe that was Damien. I've got the alerts off for this video. Oh, yeah, we didn't make it. Alright, we'll just take it. That's fine. Did not get 50 rings for the first one. Big fail. Outside and watered my garden some. Nice. How are the plants looking? It's cold and snowy here. Oof. So it is tricky. In order to get all the Chaos Emeralds, I, I believe there's only six. And the levels get much harder to get 50 rings. So getting them on the first couple levels is pretty crucial. Otherwise you get stuck. You only get, oh, you only get like five of the cast emeralds. Not satisfying. Yo, raid time, what's up? Scott, welcome in, dude. How's your day, man? How's your Sunday? Did you play the drums today? I figured out this this secret yesterday. Watch this. Oh, I just got it. Let's go. First try. All right. It's actually really hard to do, and I had to practice it a lot of times. Fun fact. Mom talk Jen with the with the Scott emojis and the toast. Did I already get that? Yeah. Damien says plants are doing good. Ooh, this part's tricky. I gotta focus. Because if you hit the spikes at all, you just die. Because you bounce on them twice and die. There's no invincibility when it comes to spikes. Like, after you hit, get hit and lose your rings. Oh, right here. Alright, let's go. Good job. I am multi-streaming, yeah. You had a Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Just chilling with some friends. Nice. What were you just playing, Scott? What game? And these levels are tricky. 
it does take some luck, but if you're really good at them, you can you can remove the luck factor. And I would say I'm okay at them. I'm getting better at these. They're for the for the bonus stage, these are tough. First one's easy. I'm hoping to beat this game in an hour and a half. Honestly, it might take two two plus hours if it doesn't go our way. DTB gardening and cooking. Let's go, Damien, dude. You found the channel. Appreciate you, man. Dude, you should subscribe and be my first subscriber to the YouTube channel. Facebook to YouTube, dude. Good job. All right, since it's the third level of the series, you can't get the 50 ring bonus stage. So we may as well just plow through this level. Just sub. Let's go. Oh, the second sub. Oh, I told my friend Gianni at church to go and be the first sub. Sounds like he actually did it. So you are not the first sub. Oh, I might be able to get that light. Let's try it. Yeah. One more try. There we go. This game is actually pretty hard, so getting those lives can really be crucial. Ooh, here's a little secret. If you notice, the color of these bricks are slightly different than the color above them. Which means, you can do one of these guys. Bam. Alrighty, here's the boss. You find all the plants I planted on my channel, by the way. Nice! Dude, alright, I'll check it out. Very satisfying. So as long as you just stand in this corner, you cannot be hurt. It's the only really safe spot. So the best way, you just wait it out, jump up, bam. You can force two in. Let me try. I'll try to get two in since I have the shield. No, not that time. I gotta bounce back to the platform after. Like that. And then bounce down. Okay, so you can do two smoothly. Let's see if I have the skills. I might have the skills. Whoa, nope. Back to Facebook side now. Hamburger, let's go. Appreciate all the comments. Scott, check out um on my Facebook. I got a message from Facebook saying that it's gonna give me some more reach because of many engagement engaging videos that have been consistent. Um, and it was a really cool message. I don't know if you've you've ever gotten one of those. Because my reach was literally getting like 80 to 100, where back before it was getting like 1,000. So I was getting discouraged, but I was really excited to see that. There's a way to get up there. I don't know. I don't think there's anything up there actually. And there's a way you can play this game with Knuckles if you use mods, but in the original Sega games, there was no way to do it. If you've ever seen the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge for the Sega Genesis, it flops open so that you can put another game on top of it. Completely innovative at the time. Actually, pretty amazing. And if you put on Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 on top of it, does anybody here know what I'm talking about? Then you could play as Knuckles in those games. But the technology was not designed for the first one, so there's no way to actually play as Knuckles on the actual Sega. There's your Sonic fun fact of the day.
Junior, what is up? Good to see you, man. I'm just doing a playthrough today, so not my typical stickers and shoutouts. But welcome in. Dude, good to see you. How's your how's your Sunday? Yes, this is a classic, man. Very good song. Oh no, I only have 44! Oh, and we hit the end of the level. Alright, so we missed another one. It's gonna make it a little bit tighter of a job to be able to get all the emeralds. Sure need some Sonic groups to share. Yeah! Junior, do you mind sharing this to some Sonic groups? I just... I just wanna focus on play, playing the game. I'm a part of like five Sonic groups. So dude, thank you. Be back in a minute, let's go. If anybody wants to help the channel, I would appreciate if you just quickly join a Sonic group and share it and tell people to come in, that would be awesome. Cause for Sonic lovers, man, this is, this is the dream right here. The original Sonic, playing through the whole game. Oh snap, I was gonna fix my glasses. I do not have time right there. Okay. I don't have any non-Brazilian Sonic groups. Well, you must have, cause that's how we met Junior, unless that was a Brazilian group. I feel the need to jump like you can easily just walk but for anxiety reasons I jump from platform to platform I know my grandmother is having a funeral no idea when though oh I missed it oh, okay Fine, we're still on track. You're not sure what day? I mean, it's it's pro it's gotta be soon. At 50, we just cannot get hit. I believe this is the end. Uh, actually, no, it's not. I think this level is a lot longer. If I remember correctly. Oh, those bees, man. Those enemies really can get, get tricky there. Uh, using those... Invincibility frames, good stuff. Yes, you got it. Key in Sonic. After getting hit and your rings are flying everywhere, using those invincibility frames. Yes. A shield, thank you. Oh, but Scott, I didn't see what uh, what game did you say you were playing today? Oh man, we lost it already. Skip all that. Alright, here's the anxiety inducing part. No shield. Cannot get hit here. I think we're getting to the end. Uh, no, since there's paperwork needed to be found. Uh, your granddad was in the... Oh, okay. So that's why it's taking longer. Oh, what? For real? Dude! Scott, I appreciate you, man. That's really nice of you. Wow. You're the man, dude. I wish you lived in New York. Alright. Second Chaos Emerald. This one's still not too bad, but you gotta watch 
you can kind of read the course to see where you're supposed to go and where you won't fall into the red zone of death. Alright. It's a little too chaotic. Yeah, oh, okay. See, that was too reckless and I got pretty lucky. Because I could have easily fell into whatever this was and thankfully it was the right zone. Oh, just like that. Sketchy. Alright, we got it. We're locked in here. And then we're just going to relax. Let it spin out. No, no, no. Okay. Let's go. I don't want to miss any Chaos Emeralds. I'll probably end up failing on one of them. If I can only fail on one, that's pretty solid. But it's very unsatisfying beating this game without all of them. Alright, boss level. And that is, the music is one of the best parts about this level. And the pace of it's really fun. The lava forces you to slow it down, but not to a point where it's annoying or grindy. I guess a little bit, it can feel a little slow. I personally enjoy it. And all of the things are within your control. Like, as long as you don't fly through the level, which really, okay, here's, here's me getting on my Sonic Soapbox, Junior, if you're still here. The perfect, my favorite Sonic games are not ones that you just fly through as fast as you can, miss a bunch of things. I love appreciating levels for what they are, finding every little secret and detail in them, which I guess is more like a Mario game. This first Sonic game is designed for that. The longer, um, or better word would be, Later on in the series, as each game got developed, it became more of a focus on the speed and going, gotta go fast, right? And my ADHD brain loves to slow it down, really find everything in the game. And that's what these Genesis games did so beautifully. Like that, if I just jump in there, I would have got hit by one of those flames. Oh. I'm pretty sure I just glitched it there, unless you can hit the side. I thought that was supposed to hurt me. But an example of going a little too quick, not knowing what's going on. Scott, I am studying, I'm doing my master's in social work. I am halfway through the program. We'll be done next summer. You can stand on sideways spikes. Scott, you've beaten this game before? Send that block. That was a little risky, but good. Wow. It was like, I saw the shield and I'm like, huh, I might need that at some point. And then I literally watch myself fall into the lava. Oh, and I actually... This is zone 3. I don't need 50 rings. I forgot. I can just blast through this. Possibly came close, but it's hard. It's a very hard Sega game. I love the difficulty. Oh. And imagine, right? Being a kid when this game first came out. Or like for me, it was one of the first games I played. So hard as an eight-year-old kid. Even getting past the first set of levels, you like feel pretty proud of yourself. And then when you lose all your lives, you have to go back, do it all again. And any time you can make progress, get a little bit farther than last time, it becomes such a, gr a challenge. And and you're getting better, you're improving. It really was such a, a great design. Sonic Spinball, dude, I played that recently. That game is even harder. Scott, I never beat that game. Never even close. I got to the second level, but as a kid, that game was way too hard. 
I saw they, they have it on the Switch. And that's what got me to try it again. And I got to the second level. But that, that is hard, man. Uh, and it's such a different skill set. Like, if you get good at this game, it doesn't really matter. One, two, three. Oh, I got too greedy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, no rings. Freeing all the little animals. Another level with great music. And it's kind of like a little spooky. A little unsettling. And then there, this part comes up and it's just, well, listen. Then it's just fun. It's like, oh, okay, we're having fun now. Like it went from creepy to, oh, it's, it's the spring yard zone. It's fun, all right. But the way the music progresses from just like totally fun to adventurous to intense. Like the last level's music soundtrack. Oh, that last level is so hard. But that's that's the way to play these games. Like you gotta beat them in one sitting. Oh. Thing is wrecking me. Fake Sonic. Yeah, this level is very satisfying. Scott, do you like Sonic or Mario more? I would pick I pick Sonic clear choice because it is my childhood but Super Mario World such a good game that's one of the best games of all time whoa I can't believe I snuck in there like let's say I was stranded on a desert island and I could only play either any Sonic game or Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo that would be tough and I might choose Super Mario World. Oh, let's go. Awesome. Hopefully we get our third. Oh. Oh, I see we got a viewer on YouTube. Let's go. It probably is Damien. If it's not, welcome. I really want the YouTube channel to start making progress. Oh no, it failed. Wow. We got so lucky. Very thankful for those little pinballs. There we go. Awesome. That's true. Gianna Ginty. Oh, G yeah, Gianni. What's up, dude? Let's go. Bro, I know you're not on your phone. I know you're on your computer. Let's go. Welcome, dude. Playing through the whole game, man. Hoping it's less than two hours. While my wife is at the fair with our child. Gianni, you were the first subscriber, dude. Congratulations. I told someone else to jump on and that they might be the first one and they were actually the second because of you. Oh, no. It's 
So this is the second level, so we still want to get 50 rings. And I just remember being a kid, and I remember I, I started to go to kindergarten, first grade, and I'd be playing this game all the time. And I would just be thinking about playing Sega all day long at school. Can't wait to get home, try to beat the level that I'm stuck on. I, that's true, I remember being in first grade. Wow, this part is ridiculous. I cannot speak and do this part at the same time. Okay, I remember being in first grade and not being prepared for a show and tell. And the teacher's like, we'll just talk about anything. And I'm like, okay, I'd like to share that right now I'm playing Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I can't beat the last level. And I literally just did show and tell about the level that I was stuck on, the final boss in Sonic 2. And I could tell everyone was like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, why are you sharing this? That's like one of my first grade memories. Let's go. Back. Shared our free groups too. Thank you. No, they won't delete it. No way. Oh, for sure. Junior. Heavily biased based on the nostalgia. I just... Oh, I thought I just died. I didn't know there was a platform under. Oh, for sure. I'm aware of it. But, I don't care, man. This game is its just so good. But it's also, like, it aged so well. Like, if you look at games such as Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and the graphics are pretty clunky, its it didn't age as good as this. Where you... I played this game with... I work with refugees, and there's, you know, eight-year-old kids, refugees, and they love this game, man. They just want to sit in my office and play it for hours because I have a little Genesis setup. And they don't know anything about the culture. They could play much better games on their phone, but they act they love playing this. Like some games just transcend generations, man, and this is one of them. Alright, and here's a hint. Follow the rings. The bigger cluster of rings shows you where the goal is. And there's also a little arrow made of rings. That shows you where to go. Keep going, keep going. I, I think if you get 50 rings, that's what that sound was. We gotta continue. Um, so you were a strong fan back there. Wish I could hear young Daniel talking. Oh man, big fan. The biggest. Or better! Oh, age better. Yeah, it's true. Seriously. And the art is so weird. Like, it turns from fish to, like, instruments. It makes no sense. I guess it, it probably is, like, 80s or 90s Japanese style. playing has it been like 20 30 minutes but I feel like we're doing this way faster than I thought oh, I haven't died yet which helps we haven't missed any chaos emeralds oh. as in failed an attempt which helps to speed it up I've been glitched out by that a couple of times. The thing was increasing, it was making more space, but if you hit it at just the right time, it glitches and just kills you. And we have to start all the way back. 
30 minutes, okay. Yeah, we're on pretty good pace. The end of the game is much, takes much more time than the first couple levels, but you just gotta keep this pace. Gianni, have you played this game before, man? Have you played any of these classics? Has your dad forced you to play through some of the games of his childhood? I hope they were a part of his childhood. All right, this time I'm gonna be patient. Now I'll go. I have, no he has not. Okay, so you have experienced some quality Sonic. Because even though Junior would disagree, man, the, the, the anything past the Dreamcast for Sonic games, I just will never enjoy. Except for Sonic Mania. I wish there would be a 2D Sonic game with amazing visuals like Warrior Rayman. Yeah, seriously! That would be a perfect marketing. Like, just capitalizing on what they know Sonic fans love. That would be such a fun game. I feel like that's almost like what... Okay, that didn't work. What Sonic Colors was trying to be. And I actually never played that game, so I don't quite know. But I heard it. It was, it was okay. It was a pretty good game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you're going too fast, buddy. You know Sonic Mania is 16 bits for a reason. Yes. Yes. They know what we want. Us old people. Goodness, we almost just died because underneath this these platforms is just death and we were going way too fast All right, this boss is not super easy One mistake can be your death Come on down Oof. We hit him four times come to this one You have to strategically tell him which blocks to take. Alright, so I think we hit him six times. This should be the last one. Nice. Past Dreamcast, so Adventure included. I would say... I mean, I've still never beat Adventure. So I don't have a perfect opinion on it. But I can tell it's a good game that I'll like. Similar to... Link, um... Zelda Breath... Or... Ocarina of Time. I know it's a good game. I just myself haven't been drawn into it. But yeah, any game past adventure. That is what I would say. This music, man. I was obsessed with this music. And it still hits to this day. How many times we've we been killed by an air bubble that is just... We're sitting, we're waiting for like 10 seconds and for some reason no air bubble comes, you die and then one pops up just to troll you. We've all experienced that. So right here I need a bubble from this one. Adventure 2 has better plot of the series, but it seems you don't pay much attention to the lore. I don't! You're right. You're more about the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been too drawn into the story. 
Junior, is there a comic that you would suggest that is really good? Or anything that would get me into the lore? I would love to be drawn in. But nothing has gotten my attention. Alright, now I'm just being too cautious with these bubbles. Oh! Push my luck. I love the game gameplay, but I can push through bad gameplay for the lore. Oh, interesting. I would say that too. Especially for a story, if it's a good story. I don't really care about the gameplay. That's kind of how Undertale is. The gameplay can be a little grindy, but you don't care because you just want to know what happens next. You just want to learn about your characters that you become so attached to. Emotionally attached. Based on the decision you've made as a player. Oh my goodness, dude, I need to... I need to play that again. Forty-eight, two more rings, and then we gotta not lose any. That's not hard, right? Try to beat this. Okay. Um, I didn't read IDW, so can't re recommend. Archie had some really good. So no, there's none that you would actually recommend. Oh no! All right, let's see if we can get 50 by the end. I think I asked you this before, like a video or anything that explains the Sonic lore. Be careful not to die here. Yep. The way they time enemies to pop out at just the annoying time, but if you have caution, you'll be fine. It's very nice. No. Oh, yeah. It's not happening. Don't recommend none. Adventure 2 is the plot you're looking for. Okay. Yep, this is the end. Not this time. Non-Japanese version is too censored. Gotcha. People, people complain about this level though. They really don't like it. I think of because how slow it can feel because of the water. I enjoy it though. I like that it slow down forces you to think a lot more. It never annoyed me. But yeah, a lot of people do not like this level. Probably because you do have to be really patient with the bubbles. Like, you cannot overreach. Like, this right here, if you collect every one of those rings, you might have a bad time. You get here and like, oh, I need a ring, I need a bubble. I need a bubble. You wouldn't get it in time. was criticized for having slow down movements. Yeah, Sonic 2 is faster. Perfect balance. Yeah, Sonic 3 is definitely a faster game. I love the pace of this game. I, it, it's perfect for me. Oh, a little bit of a fail. I'm gonna hit that switch and then we can move on.
Invincibility, nice. Get through this as fast as we can. Oh, I think this part's tough. You gotta do it quick. Uh, we're gonna take the air just in case. I think it does get tricky here. Um, no, the air's actually fine. I never had patience to bear Sonic 1. Gotta do it someday. You gotta, Junior! Dude, play through it now! Do it like today or tomorrow, man. It'll take time, though. Like, you'll definitely lose all your lives. I bet it would take you, like... Oof. Four tries, and you could do it. Wow. That's tricky. It's such a tight spot, and he just starts chucking spikes at you. So you really... You have to jump over him first, and then come back. Oh, and these ones you gotta duck. We failed that one. Watch out for the spike there. Alright, nice job. On pace. Is this the end? Looking like it. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. And I love the challenge of 50 rings by the end. You have to be a, a pretty skilled player. Like, not perfect, but you gotta be, like, next level skilled and not a beginner. You notice the ups and downs on the side? That's what speeds it up. Which plays a huge factor. I didn't know as a kid what those did. But when it starts spinning fast, it's out of control and you really can't... Like, I took a risk. You can't work the game that well. So this is a little risky. Okay, this is that's the right area. Follow the rings. Follow the rings. And we, we found it. Here's the final zone. This is awesome. We're doing great. I always will fail at least once or twice on Chaos Emeralds, and we are having a, a perfect time with those. So just one more. Very sadly, you cannot be supersonic in this game. That's the one drawback to why a person may never want to play Sonic 1. Because it's like all that work to get those Chaos Emeralds, and it doesn't actually do anything. It's simply to get 100%, as opposed to an awesome reward of Super Sonic. So Sonic 2, man, it was a great move on their part. Oh, you gotta time this jump just right. And I'm missing it. Still missing it. There we go. So you're going for true ending. Yes. Every emerald. Skip that. Going high ground of pretty much any Sonic game will give you the most convenient path. The lower route you go, the more dangerous it's going to be, and likely there's going to be spots that drop to your death. Grab this air bubble. Wow, wow! That was tough. This is the third level? Yes, this is third. Is there any advantage going low? Probably for some specific levels, but I say overall, it just means that you weren't able to find the high route, slash you fell down. It's 
staying high route means you had better balance and made jumps, so they reward you. Low means, well, we're not going to kill you, but we're going to make your life harder. Like, you've, you've slightly failed, but... We'll see. Okay, there's no point in those air bubbles. I do not trust going any farther without them. And you can just run across all these. Alright, I need... Now I need one. We're doing great. We have had no deaths. Really? We haven't died to anything legitimate. We died to a glitch, and that's it. Oh, I just fell down, right? So, yeah, that's where we just were. the boss here. The boss of this one is pretty tough. And you don't actually have to hit Dr. Robotnik at all. You literally just have to beat the clock. No, this isn't the boss yet. We're just about there. But the water is rising, so you gotta go quick. They're trying to distract you by going left there. Just skip it. I think there's like 10 rings. Maybe a shield. Just gotta go quick. Here's a shield. We'll grab that. Here's the boss. This does get tough. The faster you can do it, means you're gonna avoid the water which makes your life so much harder. You, the more you can avoid water, the better. But don't rush it. As long as, you, at this point, you just take it slow, you're not gonna die. That, I rushed that. I didn't really need to. It's an awesome boss, I love this one. I'm not gonna jump that. Five, and we got it. Didn't even get hit. Let's go. That was awesome. So yeah, I, I do like that. I do like that boss. You gotta do the movements perfectly. I don't like these moments where you need to wait for a platform move. I think it kills it. Oh, that's fair. You, I know, Junior, you love the super fast-paced games for Sonic. I like the slow ones. Old bosses were better. Fun fact, this used to be my intro song. When the streams would be loading up, I had this song playing. I don't know if you remember that, Junior. Whoa! Watch it, Sparky. Oh, I remember the- yes! Yep. So we're gonna go high ground, cause yeah, if you go low on this, there's a lot of ways that you can die. Simply, by falling like one extra platform, you'll just die. So no thank you. 
I think we can go back now. No? Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What was the point? Just for a little invincibility. I mean, I guess that actually was pretty helpful. Oh, and I need... We need one more Chaos Emerald. This is really the time to get it. This level or the next one? Because this is level 5, right? Out of 6? Oh, that's the end right there. Pretty sure that's the end. Good, let's find some more. We can do this. Oh, Junior, Paula's gonna be mad that she missed Sonic. Alright, we got the 50, nice. Awesome. We did our job. The colors. <laughs> She's always wigging out about the colors. Okay, just wait here. We're gonna wait it out. Nice. Let's go. That was awesome. That was so smooth. Sonic got them all. Oh, yeah. Do I got any of my stickers? Woo! All the Chaos Emeralds, baby. Let's go. Woo! Gianni, what's our time now? Are you still watching? Are we at an hour? Oh, that's just death. Dude, they're just gonna throw in six bombs and be like, yeah, good luck. Just jump through all of them. That would probably kill you if you didn't duck. These funky little narrow circles. Loop-de-loops. A technical term. 53 minutes, we're still under an hour. On a great pace. This is such a great streaming game. I love playing a game for... It's the end of the level, wow. An hour and a half, I, that's my perfect stream time. And I think once this was the limit for gaming, the most a console could do, pushing it to its limits, man. And, but see, that's what created beauty, though, was you're so limited that it would force creativity. Like, how can we make an amazing game? I just, oh, with 16 bits. And it, it caused for the idea of, well, 2D platformer, but we're going to make, oh, I just died. That's the first death. So, you know, even though it's a, a 2D platform, we're going to allow for, like, five routes in the game. One of them is going to be a secret route. Right? Let's see, I just skipped a big part of the level right there just by being aware of that little move. Instead, yeah, going the low route like we did before, that was just death. Flying through Starlight Zone. Oh!
no. True, the bosses were so much more creative. Yeah. Would you say three homing device attacks and that's it? Yeah. This one is probably the lamest boss of all of them. Like, you just gotta hit him with those things. It's really not hard at all. Like, the only thing that actually hurts you is those mines. Pretty obnoxiously easy. In which, it was going every level, the bosses were getting harder and harder. Then they throw this one, which honestly, it's just about as hard as the first one. I'd say it's even easier. Like, I'm not sweating anything right now. Done. Are we at the final level? No. Is that... Did we just play five levels? Sonic 2 is such a longer game. Scrap Brain, this is it. Boys and girls, notice the intensity of the music, yet it's still epic and emotional somehow. And notice the intensity of the level itself. Um, let's go this way. The first thing they do is they give you two choices right off the jump. I love that. I love having choices. Completely linear games can be good, but the more choices you can give, and yet keeping the storyline, keeping the game nice and tidy, oh man, that, oh, that's where the sweet spot is. That's instant death, and see we went the low route, let's see if we can survive. We're just gonna throw some buzzsaws at you when you're least expecting it. Oh, oh, I. The platform comes out, so you have to jump at the perfect time or else you die. Let's not go that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make better choices this time. With this poor little hedgehog's life. And we're gonna go up above. You gotta jump at the exact time that it flips, and then you time it. Time it nice. Oh my goodness. I definitely want that checkpoint. Like, very badly. Thank you. I gotta go fast, Dan. I cannot go fast on this level, dude. No chance. This, I believe, is death underneath me. Oh no, it's not. Okay. You have to wait for the platforms to show up, I think. Yep. And they're just giving you a heads up. Of what's to come. And the funny thing is, in underneath some of these, there is stuff. There's like rings, but some of them is death. And you don't know unless you just try it. So let's try it. Look, see, there's stuff. But you literally don't know unless you just risk Sonic's poor little blue life. It's your only chance. Oh, see, that was awesome. All right, this, look at this right here. You got the rotating platforms leading into a, to a wall of fire. Man, they don't make games like they used to, unless your name is Dark Souls. Let's try to time this right. Nope. Oh, okay, so we got one of them. You have good reflexes, thank you. Let's try to time this right. And I didn't time it right and I died. And that's what I mean. See, we played this game really well, but we're still down to two lives. Thankfully, we got the continues from... Oh. I'm not going for that ring. From the minigame, the bonus level. So I feel a little more comfort with that. 
Oh, but I guess if you notice the rings, it's, it's kind of giving you a hint that there's a way you can get to them, which in this case is the spring. Bro, bro! Caterpillar just robbed all my rings. That's the one time where you do just want to rush through it all. Uh, I forced it, and we glitched out, but we're not dead. We landed on one of these, thankfully. It's like a 50-50 chance of death, and we are alive. Random box of three rings. 30 rings. Okay. Oh, buddy. We're gonna be taking a lot of hits here. Those bears are just nuisances. Wow, that was painful. Scrap Brain Zone. What a name. Now we are inside of the Scrap Brain factory. Oof. We're gonna get zapped immediately. That was intense. Yeah, it was. I love this part. You can just run on it and then you can spin. Oh, and then it just launches you off. Wrong way. Oh! Let's just casually jump this time. Let's not spin. Oh, I forgot. Level 3 on this one is awesome. It is very hard. And they kind of remix a level. A level that we've already played. All oh, these buzz saws, dude. I just think it's hilarious. It's like, we're gonna send shock charges, we're gonna send walls of flames, and a buzzsaw, just cause we can. Just cause. This is hilarious, dude! I, I love it. I love it. Let's just, uh, hope we get it right. We got, let's go, wow. We're doing pretty good. We're doing better than the first level, I'd say. I mean, I would, I'd say. Alternating conveyor belts. With buzz saws as your punishment. And look at that. They force you to roll underneath this buzzy electric thing. But if you roll too far, you get crushed by a hammer. Just pretty genius design. Almost trolling you, but it does give you enough time to recognize it. Let's go up high. Let's follow the sonic number one rule of thumb. And we get rewarded with invincibility. High risk, high reward. I love seeing that. Now we're going at these bears in reverse. Much easier than attacking them from the low ground. Let's go. All right, final main level. And then we fight Dr. Robotnik for real. This level's hard. Hardest level, faux show. So like I was saying, it's a remix of the level we had just played. Um, the fourth level, I forget the name. 
Labyrinth Zone. Recolor the tiling is kind of cool. But I love that they send you back to a previous level. Reminding you of what you've already accomplished, but are already also changing it up. Making it harder. New soundtrack. colors. Maybe Paula would actually like these colors. All the purple schemes. I love it. Is this the right way? It's actually not the right way. I'm supposed to go down, I guess. This is a problem and we might die. Nice. all those. Yeah, it just gave us so many air bubbles. She would like it. Spike's gonna hurt me? No. Oh! I went to go kill him and almost missed my chance at the bubble. No, thank you. Oh! We just went all the way down. We're gonna need air. Let's go! Zero seconds on the clock came through. And once in a while you'll get that. Normally the luck goes the other way around with that air. But that was nice. Zero rings, we just made it through. That was sweet. And then we get clocked by a spike ball. Woo! Bubble coming in clutch, man. That was intense. I don't know about you. My heart rate was getting up like, um, um, I don't really want to die here. But I also had faith, too. It was like I had the faith of Abraham. Like, I'm going to stretch me to the last minute. But hey, I, th I think we got this. If you do end up watching this later on the YouTube channel, just know that during our live streams... Oh, I did not do this right. No, I did not. Dead. See, this part, you got to do it perfectly or you die. Because the time between air bubbles is super long. All right, I'm going to try it again. But anyways, normally after every stream, we read the Bible live on the stream. On this one, I'm not because it's simply a playthrough. Um, Actually, you know what? No. Let's do it anyway. Let's still, let's read the Bible. Because it feels wrong to not. It just feels like, that's what we do. Let's keep that going. Did I mess this up again? What did I, what did I do? Yeah, I did. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. Let's go again, and that was even closer. Bubble, not so much clutch. Not that time. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna keep breathing air. Does feel wrong. Hey, can I do a prayer request? Of course, Junior. Yes, bro. How can we pray for you? Yeah, very close call. Spikes of death. And we got it. We did it! Alright, final level. Honestly, it's pretty easy. You just gotta find the sweet spot. Don't get hit. 
find the biggest gap, stay right in the middle of them. You can jump if it makes you feel better. It's a pretty easy final boss. Whoa, okay, that was close. Oh, I should have put the comments on the other side. I just noticed that. It's like all up in the score. I mean, in the time. I think that's four times. Oh, dead. Got me. Eggman, you got me. I'll go see another workplace. Wish me luck. I don't know if I believe in prayer, but hey, maybe it works. Let's go. Okay. Sounds like a mustard seed of faith to me. Whoa. This, this might be our last life. I'm going to focus up here. I know it says one, but I can't remember if we get another one. No, I don't think we do. So I do not want to die, because I think we get sent back to the, that third level again. But yes, Junior, dude, we will pray for you. A new job search. No, no, I thought we just died. See, that's the one that really can be rough. Oh, okay, we got hit. We have one continue, thankfully. I think it's gonna send us back. Oh no, final zone, nice. All right, we got three more tries. All right, focus up. What's our strategy? Are we still gonna go middle path? That's the way I think I've always done it. I could stay on outside. Middle path gives you the most options to kill him. Staying on the outside. You only get pretty much one chance to hit him. So again, high risk, high reward. And it's helpful to start moving as he's coming because you want to have momentum gained already before he pops up with his little hammers. See, I was able to fly through because I was already moving. Perfect example. So let's just keep doing that. Oh, man. So sketchy, though. Go, Eggman. There you go, Eggman. That he is just sending it every time right through there. Nice. You want to get trapped in the middle just like that when you're guaranteed. I feel maybe standing here is the best option on the far left. That felt really comfortable. Can't hit him, it's okay. Man, this is pretty sweaty. Two more times. I think two more. Controller is very sweaty at this point. Let's go! Oh my goodness. We have done it. Wow. Very stressful, but it was all worth it. We get to see Dr. Robotnik. His plan is thwarted. No more stealing those cute furry little animals. We've done it. We got it. Look at all of them. Look at them all. Screenshot. Basically, all it does is make the flowers look prettier. Like, there's you get really no reward other than not feeling unsatisfied. Which isn't really great. They fixed it on the second game. But we did it. Jenny, how long was that? How long was that? Dude, not even an hour and a half. Wow. Not even an hour and a half. So we definitely have time to read the Bible. Oh, for sure. Takashi Lazuka did level design. 
All right. While we're watching the credits, I'm going to load up the Bible to get us ready here. And Gianni, you didn't get to see the actual church service. So, dude, let me let me pull up. We're going to pull up Philippians 3. Verse 17. 75 minutes, nice. I mean, nowhere near a speed run, but that, that's the fastest I've probably ever beat it. We only died a couple times. We didn't have to, like, play through levels, like, the entire level again. Is that Takashi Lizuka? Was that him, Junior? And see, now Eggman's mad. Otherwise, you would see him holding the Chaos Emeralds that you didn't get. So that is, okay, that's one little reward they give you. But that's it. We did it. Good job, guys. If you 